Grade here with the Matilda replay. Today it is on Erwinburg. I know I have a lot of Matilda replays, but this is my favorite tank. I do play it quite frequently, and I often do quite well in it. Uh, this replay I picked out uh, because it highlights what the Matilda can do in a match when it is not top tier. Uh, this is actually technically a tier 6 match. We do have a KV-2 on our team and a T-34-85 on the enemy team, but it's actually mostly a tier 5 match. Uh, the other reason I picked this one out um, is because of this screen right here. Uh, the chance to win at the very top under uh, standard battle, 46%, and per vehicles, 46%. I use XVM stats, and I know that's controversial, but I actually do pretty much ignore that stat. Uh, the main reason I use uh, KV, uh, or XVM stats is because of the display I've got set up right now, where I can see that a good portion of our team in their current tank uh, are, you know, win rates in the 40s, whereas a, a good portion of the enemy team in their current tank actually have a good portion um, of their win rate, or, or their win rates are in the 50s. This lets me know kind of who on our team I can rely on and who on the enemy team I might have to keep an eye on. I don't use it as an absolute metric of who's good and bad. It's just to, to get a general feel of what's going on. Um, most of the time I actually just use stats to uh, compete against myself. I like to see that my stats improve over time. I generally don't lord my stats over any, you know, opposing people or even my own, well, especially my own team. So what I'm doing here, uh, like I said in my previous replay, is I don't like going where my team is. We've already got the KV-2 and M4 up there. And I noticed that my Matilda here we go with that great gun again. My Matilda actually is short enough that he it can get around on this hill for a flanking position. So instead of trying to, to play directly with uh, the enemy team, with my team over there, I'm actually coming across to get flanking shots and hoping to do so without getting spotted. Now I do have six cents on this so that Hetzer didn't spot me and the enemy team has yet to spot me. Now, uh, our north took a bit of a battering there. We don't have any guns on the center, so we're actually getting capped. Even though the teams are fairly even. So I'm moving across on the field again, keeping to the lower, uh, lower areas, so I can't see the enemy team, and uh, without spots from my team, I don't know when I should turn back up uh, when it's safe to do so. However, the enemy team now has three in our cap circle and we're about to get capped out. I still haven't been spotted, but we finally get eyes on the enemy team. I see the SU-85 take a shot there, so he's been reset. I go to the T-3485, put two into him, and then the M4 also gets reset. I take out the M4, pop back to the SU-85 to reset him, and then with that great rear fire I take him out. Now we're actually down to just one enemy tank in the cap circle. A lot of resets on that and two kills in just really short order. Pop over the ridge and get that Hetzer. And we still have a tank in the cap circle. Uh, I believe it's that Churchill 3. Because that 3485 is actually behind the building over there. So I'm moving forward to get a, a, a shot on the uh, the Churchill 3. Enemy armor is hit. There, I get spotted Enemy again. But two more shots into that tier 6 tank. I've said before, this gun can pen up to tier uh, tier 6, and I meant it. Uh, there's pretty much only one tank. Ooh. The M4 gets him. I try to put another shot out on the T-34. Miss. And he gets killed by the KV-2. So we've only got three tanks left. And we've pretty much cleared up the center here, but we've only got four as well, so it's still anybody's game. 
Now, the only tank that really gives this uh, gun any problem, in my experience, is the VK3601 from the front. For whatever reason, I just can't find the weak spots on that tank. Um, anything else from the front, from the sides, from the rear, bring it. I will pin you with this, this gun. I love this gun with its uh, 121 penetration. So here, we take out another one of the enemy. I'm taking some blind shots here looking for the enemy artillery. I know they like to hide up in the bushes on the hills here. The M4 gets spotted to the north. I know I'm not going to get to him. In fact, he takes a big hit there from the KV-2. So I figure our best bet is to just uh, get into the cap circle and flush out the enemy arty. And there the Electo takes, uh, finishes off the M4. So we're left with the M41. Now to be honest, if I were that M41, I'd let us have the win. I'd hide. I'd uh, save the the repair costs and try to, you know, recoup as much as possible. But the Electo and I get into the cap circle. Um, I get down on the southern edge and then rotate around. Basically, I'm hoping if uh, if the Artie isn't smart that uh, my armor will give me some protection. And we wait. However, the Artie was not smart, and again, just the fire rate of this gun. The K KV-2 misses, and I take him out. So, in this Tier 6, mostly Tier 5 match, uh, I came up with the top number of kills across both teams with 4 in my Tier 4 Matilda. And that's why I absolutely love this tank. It just, anything up to Tier 6... It can handle it. Anyway, as normal, the stats will be in a link below, uh, pointing to the, the, the replay upload to uh, NewMeter for those who are interested in it. And as always, have fun.